Baruchim Aboim, welcome everyone. We're about to begin together on Daf Yud Amid Beis at the new Mishnah. Until now, the Mishnahis have discussed the times of saying Kriya Shema, both at night and in the morning. Our Mishnah discusses how one is to do, how is one is to recite the Kriya Shema, in which manner. Says the Mishnah, Beishamai Oimrim Ba'erev Kol Odom Yate V'yikro Uba Boiker Yamud According to Be'i Shammai, at night, a person is supposed to say Kriya Shema while lying down on his side. And in the morning, to then stand up and say Kriya Shema. Shenem as it states, Uvshoch Becho, Uvkumecho. Be'i Shammai takes these words literally. Beshoch Becho, while lying down. Uvkumecho, while getting up. Uvbeis Hilaloimrim, Kol Adam Kore Kedarkoi. Everybody can read the Kriya Shema in any manner which he would like. Standing up, sitting down, reclining on his side. And you will travel baderech, which implies in any way. What does Beis Hillel do with these words? To teach us when is a person supposed to say Kriya Shema? At night, while people are lying down, and in the morning, when Rov Bnei Adam get up, Om Rabbi Tarfoin, Ani Hayisi Bo Baderech Vihitesi Likros Kedivir Beishamai. I was traveling on the road, and it was the evening after Tzitz Hakol Chovim, and I lie down on my side to say Kriyshma like Beishamai. Vesokanti Baatzmei. And I endangered my life because of bandits. Says the Nishna Amruloi. They turned to Beishamai and they said, Kedai Hayisa Lachu Baatzmecho. Shavarta al Divrei Beis Hillel. You were obligated Misa because you transgressed the words of Beis Hillel by lying down on your side at night to say, Kriyash Mashal Arvis. Says the Gemara, Bishloma Beis Hillel, Kemefarshi Taimaihu, Vetaimer de Beishamai. It goes very well according to Beis Hillel, who explain according to their reasoning the words of Velechtech of Aderech in any manner you can say Krishna. And they also explain out the words of Veshoch Bechov Kumecha to mean in the right time, the time at night after Tzitzakachovim, when people are lying down, and time in the morning, people get up. Ela Beis Shammai, my time will be Beis Hillel. What's forcing Beis Shammai not to learn like Beis Hillel? Omrei loch beishamai. Beishamai will say to you the following: Imkei neima kro ba boiker uba erev. Let the pasuk say ba boiker ba erev in the morning and at night. My u beshoch becho uv kumecho. Why does it say it in this fa- fashion, in this manner? Beshas shchivo shchivo mamish, u beshas kima kima mamish. To tell you, at the time of laying down, one must lay down. To say Kriyashma shall arvis. And at the time of getting up, a person must say Kriyashma while getting up, meaning while standing up. Says the Gemara, Ubeishamai, hai uvelech de chavaderech, my ovi lehu. What does Beishamai do with these words? Uvelech de chavaderech. After all, Beis Hillel uses these words to say that you can say Kriyashma in any manner. How does Beishamai use these words? Answers the Gemara to explain, ha humi boy lehu. They explain like the following b'risa. When a person is involved in a mitzvah, he's potter from another mitzvah. And therefore, it says, When you are involved, meaning in your own reshus, in your own sitting, then you're, say, you're supposed to say Kriyashma. Then you're obligated in the mitzvah of Kriyashma. But it comes to exclude somebody who is involved in a mitzvah, either he's involved in the mitzvah itself, or he's on the way to do a mitzvah, he's going to be potter from a mitzvah, in this case, Kriyashma. Uvelech dechava derech, prat lechasen. It comes to add that a person who is a chasen is excluded from the mitzvah of Kriyashma, because he is torud be mitzvah. His mind is torud, is busy with the thoughts of the besulim, of being with his wife, the first, be, first time that he's going to be with his wife, and therefore he's potter because his machshav is torud be mitzvah. Mikan Omru, from here we learn, from here we learn a person who enters a relationship of marriage with a besula, 
will be part of from Kriya Shema, but a chasin who enters a marriage with an almana is going to be chayiv, because again, it's the chasin with the besula who's going to then be torud be mitzvah. My mashma, ask the Gemara now, how is it mashma from the words of Alech de Chavaderech, this drasha, that a person is excluded, a chasin is excluded from indeed being potter from shar mitzvahs. Omar Rab Papa, ki derech. Just like a derech, just like going on the road. Ma derech rishus, just like a derech is doing a rishus act. A person is going on the way for his own personal needs. Afko rishus, so too, all rishus is going to then be chayiv in Krishma. That's why it says, v'lech decho vaderech. Says the Gemara, "Milo laskin on deko azil ledvar mitzvah." Are we not dealing with a situation when he's going on the derech for a mitzvah? Vafilu hachi amar rachmana likri, and still the Torah tells you to say kriyshma. Explains the Gemara, no. In kain lichtov rachmana b'sheves uveleches. My b'shiv decho uvelech decho. Why does it say you're sitting and you're traveling, which implies your own personal? But if you're involved in a mitzvah, then you're going to be potter from a mitzvah, in this case, Kriyashma. If you have a patur of oisik b'mitzvah, potter min a mitzvah, then you should be potter from Kriyashma as a chasen who's entering the relationship with a marriage with an almona. Hi, Torid. The high low Torah. Answers the Gemara, there's two different types of Tirdas. The Chosin who's marrying a Basula is Torah bin Mitzvah. His Machshava is on the Basulim, whereas the Almana doesn't have such a Machshava and therefore he's not Torah. Imishum Tirda, if it's just because he's Torah, his mind is taken up, then Afilo Tova Svinasa Biyam Nami. Even when a person has a ship that sinks in the sea, so his Machshava is Torah because after all, he has a tremendous loss now. And if you'll say, yes, that's so. Why does it say? Why is an ovel obligating all mitzvahs with the exception of tefillin? This is be'ercho, chavu shalecho. HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes to Yechezka Novi after his wife passes away and says, Pe'ercha, your Pe'er, referring to your Tefillin, shall still be then put on. In other words, a regular Ovil, however, is put there because Tefillin is not appropriate for an Ovil. But Shar Mitzvah and Ovil is obligated. Hasom, says the Gemara, the Chiluk is follows. Hasom, Torud, Tirdeh, the Mitzvah, by Kriyashma, where the Chosin, rather, is going to then Marry a basula, he is tired in the tier of the mitzvah. Again, his mind is on the bi'ila rishona, on the basulim that he's concerned about, and therefore that takes up his thoughts, and he's not able to then concentrate appropriately to say kriyashma, and therefore he has a petur of saying kriyashma. Hacha, but over here, both by ovil and by the svina that's tavasa bayam, he's tired tier de the rishus. There, he can remove his machshavos, since it's a machshavo, a, a rishus. And therefore, it's an obligation to be Torud. And therefore, he's high to say Kriyashma if he's an Ovil or something else is to, uh, Torud his mind. Says the Gemara, in conclusion, in summa, summation of what we just said, Beishamah, as we said, uses these words of Lech Lecha to include somebody who is involved in a mitzvah. Even Shluchay the mitzvah, he's on his way to doing a mitzvah. He's going to be part there from another mitzvah. Or Beis Hillel Amei Mimela. Beis Hillel learns Mimela. That means to say they can say Kriya Shema in any way from the word Baderech. Shema Mina Vafilu Baderech Nami Kori. That means even Baderech, even if a person is traveling in any which way, he can say Kriya Shema. Now the Gemara brings a Braisa explaining, according to Beis Hillel, how he would say Kriya Shema in any way. Tonu Rabbonan. Beis Hillel Oimrim. Oim Dim Vekorin. You can stand and say Kriyashma. Yoishvim Vekarin. You can sit and recite Kriyashma. Matin Vekarin. You can lie down on your side and say Kriyashma. Holchim Baderech Vekarin. You can travel and you can say Kriyashma. Oisim Bemalachan Vekarin. You can even be Oisik in your Malacha 
And while you're doing the malacha, so long as it's not the first parsha of the Kriya Shema, you can also be oisim be malacha and say Kriya Shema. Umaisib Rabbi Yishmoel, Rabbi Allah ben Azariah. The Gemara now brings a maisa. Shahayu misubim be mokim echad. The two of them were together reclining, together having a meal. Vahayu Rabbi Yishmoel muto. Rabbi Allah ibn Azariah Zokuf. Rabbi Yishmael was lying inclined on his side. And Rabbi Allah ibn Azariah was sitting erect. Kevan Shehigiyah Zman Kriyashma. Once the Zman of Kriyashma Shal Arvis came, Hita Rabbi Elozar Vizokuf Rabbi Yishmael. Rabbi Allah ibn Azariah then was lying on his side to say Kriyashma just like Beishamai does. And Rabbi Yishmael then Sat erect to say Kriya Shema Shal Arvis. Omar lo Rabbi Alazar ben Azariah le Rabbi Shmuel. Rabbi Alazar ben Azariah said to Rabbi Shmuel, I don't understand. All of the time you are lying down on your side and then all of a sudden you sit up erect. Here I then go ahead and lie on my side and then you do the opposite. I'll give you the following marshal to explain. Omar Rabbi Alazar ben Azariah le Shmuel. Rabbi Shmuel, achi, am shal lecha marshal lema davar dami. What is this compared to? As if a person comes to somebody else and he says to him, you have a beautiful flowing beard. He says afterwards, Once he heard such a compliment about his beard, he says, then I'm going to seek out those who will then be able to cut my beard off. I'll go to the barber so he can shave off my, take off my beard. So too, this is what you're saying. So long as I am sitting erect, so you're lying on your side. And now when I praise what you're doing by, lay, by lying on your side, I also go from a sitting position to lying on my side. And now you do the opposite. You go from a lying on the side position to a sitting erect position. So Rabbi Shmuel answers back, I am doing like Beis Hillel. But you are then reading Kriya Shema as Beis Shammai does. Not only that, Maybe the Talmudim will see that I'm lying down on my side to say Kriya Shema, and then they'll make the Halacha thinking that this is the way, the procedure to say Kriya Shema like Beis Shammai. Ask the Gemara, my veloy oid. What was he adding when he a- answered veloy oid? A second thing that they will do the halacha like me. He already said that I am proceeding to do like Beis Hillel and you're do- doing like Beis Shammai. Says the Gemara, v'chitema Beis Hillel nami isluhu matin. If you will say that Beis Hillel also allows you to say Kriya Shema on its side, on your side. Hani mi, when is this true, however? When you're already on your side, then you can say Kriya Shema Shal Arvis on your side. But here, because until now you were sitting in the erect position, and now to go on your side, that's something that you cannot do. Then it will display like Beishamai. The Talmudim will see that this is like Beishamai is doing. And then they will think that this is the Halacha. And therefore, if a person again is on his side already, he can say Kriya But go from a sitting position to a lying down position like you did, that's something that one cannot do because that will express that the Halacha is like Beishamai. Tani Rabbi Yechizkel. Now the Gemara brings Three different opinions as to how, if a person did do like Beis Shammai, what is the halacha? Tani Rabbi Yechezkel also kidivrei Beis Shammai also. Kidivrei Hillel also. He's of the opinion that if a person wants to be machmir like Beis Shammai, he can do so. If he wants to be like Beis Hillel, he can do so also. Either way, he can do. Rabbi Yosef Omar also kidivrei Beis Shammai loy also. If a person is going to then say Kriya Shema in the manner of Beis Shammai, then he's not going to then fulfill his mitzvah at all. This now, like it says in the following, When 
when a person is sitting in the sukkah, but his table is inside the house. So there's a machloikis. Are we concerned that maybe a person will be yimosheich, he'll be drawn after the table and then he won't be in the sukkah? Beishamai says we're concerned about that. Beishil is not concerned, says the Mishnah. Beishamai poisoning Beishil o machshirin. Omru lehem Beishil le Beishamai. Maisa shehol chuzikne Beishamai. Vizikne Beishil levake as Rabbi Yochanan ben Chacharonis. There's a Maisa that took place when both Beishamai and Beishil went to visit on Sukkis. Rabbi Yochanan ben Chacharonis. Matsu shahaya roisha veru besukkah. Vishulchan betach abayis. And they saw that he was sitting in the sukkah with the shulchan outside the sukkah, inside the bias. Veloi amru loy klum. And Beis Hillel says, they didn't say anything to them. So you see that that's fine. The Allah is like Beis Hillel. Amru and Beis Shama responds back, no. Misham raya, you're bringing a proof from there. Af heim amru loy. They did say to him, in ken ha'isa noyeg, if this is how you're going to behave, by seeing the sukkah with your table outside the sukkah in the bias. Lokiyamta mitzvah sukkah miyamecho. You didn't fulfill the mitzvah of sukkah at all. And therefore, over here, meaning in the case of sukkah, so Beishamai says, if you behave like Beis Hillel, then you're not going to fulfill your mitzvah at all. Over here by Kriyashma, the opinions are the opposite, but if you behave like Beishamai, you're not going to fulfill your mitzvah at all. Rav Nachman by Yitzchok Omar also kedivei shamai chayev misa. Not only is not fulfilling the mitzvah, he's chayev misa. This now, as he brings our Mishnah, Omar Rabbi Tarfon ani ha'isi ba baderech. I was traveling on the road. Vehi teisi likros kriya likros kedivei shamai, and I laid on my side to say kriya shon shel arvis. Now I could have been sitting on a donkey or standing on my feet. And I wasn't. I dafka lied down to say Kriyashma like Beishamai. Vesikanti ba'asim ne'alistim. And I endangered my life because of bandits that were in the vicinity. Omruloi. They turned back to Rabbi Tarfon. And they said, Kedai ha'isa lachu ba'atzmecho. Shavata adive Beishilo. You are obligated, Misa, because you transgressed the words of Beishilo. Hillel. 